Today we are on the infamous Bridges of Drusinia map, not in Red Orchestra 2, but inside Gates of Hell. Community member Hamster has recreated this awesome map and published it on the workshop. Today we are playing as the Germans defending against the Soviets in the amazing Last Stand mode. For a little bit of extra Red Orchestra 2 flavor, I added two more mods, one that adds sounds from the game, as well as a blood and more add-on. You can find all three linked below in the description. I did a quick flyover of both maps in game and the recreation in gates of hell just looks fantastic i did notice some pathing and lag issues throughout the defense but that did not stop me from enjoying this one a lot i will definitely be coming back to this map let me know in the comments what sort of faction and time setting we should do for the next one enjoy the video how am i supposed to deal with that i don't think i can i don't think i can deal with oh i don't have any artillery i don't have any heavy artillery anyway Heaviest thing I got is a little mortar. Oh, we got the Zis, but there's a T-34 behind it. What did that... Oh, there it is. Oh, this is APCR, though. Oh, this is already not good. This is already lost its sand. Oh, it's a perfect side shot, though. Why do we have HE loaded? Look, uh, heat in the side of this SU. Where is it? Oh, right here. Oh, that's already gone. That's already gone. Okay, well, I wonder if we can at least keep spraying them down. We have the mortar firing... This has already gone absolutely wrong. Maybe we quickly get on the pack. Is it broken? Is it still up? If we can heat this. Oh, come on. Come on. Reload. I just got to get this tank knocked out. I'm sure our F2 can deal. Okay, that's perfect. That's all I wanted. That's all I needed. We are going to be losing this river like instantly though. Let's make it might actually be tiger time instantly. As our tiger has to drive over here first, I guess. But this is, yeah, far from ideal. Let's get this engineer out of here. I was busy driving uh, or getting this tank sort of ditch ready for my Panzer IV. Oh, this right, I'm thinking it might even just have to be the tank ditch for the tiger. As I guess I'll try to dig another one right here for when the tiger gets here. But we're going to have to get more infantry. Let's get a Panzer Schutze squad on the left. Our machine gun is a blasting the Soviets. We just charged across the river somehow, though. Okay, they're mostly done. We're going to have to get more. I guess we could kind of push some of these units around. Oh, we may have, the pack gun is gone. Our pens are four still up. This pack gun is going to be useless if it stays here. So maybe we'll move this pack gun over here and try to get a flanking position with it. I wasn't sure how wide I had to make the defenses, but it looks like they're all just going to be chilling in this middle area, which... I mean, it may work, but uh, for them, actually more so than for me, I was kind of... Oh, whoa, what is the guy right here? What? Oh, my God. That mortar just... La oh, mortar landed right next to my trench, killed everyone in the trench, basically. Oh, they've just full-on charged a river, too. How's my machine gun not killing enough of them? I need, a, like, another machine gun, I guess. And maybe we'll get a Aufklärer squad, because they're kind of cheaper. Our manpower isn't even an issue. It's our doctrine points, although we do have quite a few. Okay, well, they've just overrun the entire middle already. Uh, they've just knocked out the crew on that. That's far from ideal. I don't want to throw him on there. Well, our left is completely lost. At least our tiger should be arriving here any moment. I don't know if that tank, tra tank ditch is a safe position for it, but... All right, now let's start... Spreading out our infantry on this ridge. I have another machine gun tripod coming in as well. We're going to have to quickly sort of re-get the initiative in here. I don't know why I keep going into there when I know there's a menu option for the foxholes right here. I just keep forgetting there is one, really. I need to keep that in mind. It's just hard to remember there is one of those. Okay, quickly. Oh, there goes the m crew on the mortar. Actually, the mortar may have just been destroyed or at least damaged to the point where I can't get on it. There's an artillery from 122 back there. We have some sort of 76 on the bridge. That might be the low velocity one. I don't know if we could hit that. That would be really... Oh, now they're also coming in from that right flank. Okay, it's a good thing I have a pack here. Uh, rotate... Oh my god, what is that? It's a whole other wave. I'm not ready for that. Uh, what would we get for that? A pack? I don't think that's going to... Oh, my. Okay, Panzer four F2. It's going to have to do it. Another F2. Now, I guess they're also sending in more infantry and tanks on the left. Trying to dig in. This one, mortar... Oh, this machine gunner got killed. 
I did bring up another tripod here. Nice! I don't know what we just blew up, but we killed an entire... Oh, that might have been one of these... Oh, there's just so much stuff back here. Is there an Apumalet back there? Because there's stuff on fire? Get another tripod for over here? If we could... It's the bridge. If we don't hold the bridge and the riverfront, we're done. Like, it's this, it's this area or it's nothing. Luckily, I did get some of this area here covered. Now we have some of these recon. Oh, they have completely overrun the left. I don't think... I don't think this one tripod is going to save the day over here. Get sandbags up on it if we can. The right... Like, there's so many... Like... F I'm pummeling. It must be the. It, oh, there's also a one, a 280 millimeter artillery piece. Okay, well this one just kind of went a wall instantly. There's a mortar there. I could try to man. Wonder if this tripod has eyes on over here even. This is a. Uh, I can't even think of the word I'm thinking of. The. Um, Soviets attacking during the Winter War on the Mannerheim line. Just running into a machine gun. There's still guys who are making it out of this situation. I need to make sure that they... Oh, they just got below that ridge there. We just laid into that formation, though, which is good. But now we're also getting machine gunned by a tank. And that left flank is not going to hold very long. Okay, Tiger is set. It's a little bit of, like, hull cover that way, at least. Oh, okay, we're good. Let's see if we can reman some of these positions back here. Obviously, there's not a great deal left to defend with over here, but get the machine gun to cover that left breach. We'll get uh, Panzer II to rotate more towards the middle. I could get another Tiger. I wonder if it's worth it. Or Sturmpanzer. Or Sturmpanzer. I think that's what we want to get in the middle and hopefully it can like provide cover for both the left and the right. We have to like defend this middle area. There's just a machine gun and a single rifleman covering it. That's all we have left over here now. So we need to really deploy some riflemen who can support the Panzer II or Panzer IV F2. Make sure we reload the right ammo. He's right. Oh, this is a little BT. Is it the BT-7A? It's based off the uh, the look. Oh, we just got the story either way. That's perfect though, because that means we can now. Hopefully deploy some more guys to help redefend this position. They're mostly riflemen, like one or two submachine gunners in here. But yeah, this position uh, not going to be very holdable. Especially not when they keep blasting with artillery. At least our tires are still okay. I'm going to need ammo. I've never defended this far forward in a last stand. I always kind of let them come, you know, right to the end point. I have two guys defending it in case any like, random infantry kind of make it through and... Oh, there's an SU-100 Y somewhere. That's incredibly unfortunate. Uh, I could not be more unfortunate than that. That's a 130 millimeter. I think it's like a destroyer type gun, naval gun, really. Uh, that's mounted on a on the tank destroyer. It has no armor. Tiger just knocked out that. That's perfect. It has no armor really to speak of whatsoever. But I think the issue with it is that. While well, you're dealing with a 130 millimeter gun. Oh, here comes a medium tank in the form of a T-34. Look at the Zis-2 gun. Gonna keep that reloading while we keep digging in more infantry. I think it'd be worth getting this machine gun like up on the ridge here as well. Our Sturmpanzer 1. Oh, that's... Is that a Valentine? Oh, no. Why? I don't know why I thought that for a second. Oh, we set that on fire, though. Oh, this is a huge blob. This is a moment for the 150 mil. Oh, that was massive. Okay, now let's reverse that. Get that back to reloading. It's going to take a minute. We're going to need to... Oh, um, I don't even... I can't even... Oh, they're, like, rushing into this area. What are you guys doing? How are you not killing them fast enough? Oh, he's out of ammo. That's why... No, don't let them run over. To... Oh, that's not good. Oh, the storm puns are just fired. Our left... Machine gun is going to be... Oh, this, this might be a situation where we're going to have to defend the actual cap. I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but we can try our best. This might be a... Uh, everyone who is currently up front tries to hold what they got. And everyone who is currently not in the, in the front uh, gets to go and defend the next point. Which is really only the only point that there is to defend. The tiger is tracked. The gun is damaged. It's not broken, but it is damaged try to set up like a intermediate sort of secondary-ish line 
it will be worth it, I think, to get this officer now uh, to come back and help keep him alive. It's because the sandbags were deployed kind of annoyingly, frustratingly. Oh, the... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, how is this thing still alive? How am I not... Everything here is bad. Uh, the gun's broken on the Panzer. I don't know how this thing... Oh, it's completely empty. I need to, like, self-destruct these things. Maybe... The tiger can't leave because he's completely, like, tracked. Okay, we're going to have to figure out a way to defend the second and sort of... La well, it's technically the third line. We're making some really terrible, quick sandbag defenses here. Uh, downside for us here defending. Because if you look at the map, we are kind of... S oh, there's already a vehicle here. It's a good thing my tiger is uh, is here and ready to hopefully defend. But what is that anyway? Oh, is this a little truck? Oh, they are. There's more here than I thought. They came up here a lot quicker. Again, some of them just probably broke through, right? And, well, they're here now, so. But, yeah, we've lost pretty much that front. I don't think it was really meant to be very long. I expected it to be kind of crazy, but that was way crazier than I honestly thought it was going to be. So this is just delaying action on these people. I don't know if the Panzer can retreat. I might try to pull them back. If I can get them out of here, that'd be great. The uh, machine gun might actually not be a bad one to get back either. The pan the tiger is broken. I can really only just shoot its main gun at this point. Uh, it's a shame I cannot seem to rescue this. Uh, if I can get this thing out of here. Get in it. Oh, they're getting, they're actually manning my weapons here. Oh, well, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, what does a dish get? It wasn't even mine weapon. Can I get out of here in time, though? That's the question. I want to get this Sturmpanzer back if I could. If I knew this was going to happen eventually, I didn't think it was going to happen this quickly. No! No! A random... Oh, it's still repairable. It's still repairable. I don't know what just happened to it. Like, a random thing just caused it to, like, completely explode. This guy has a little bit of ammo left. Let's go for the reload. Prone out, prone out, prone... Oh, I click the wrong oh there's a tank here can we blow this tank up do we have a tnt we do have a fake tnt this is actually red orchestra 2 right here yeah that's like pretty red orchestra 2 to me okay that tank is oh they're coming in from our flank what is that i did i wasn't ready for that baby tank oh they're coming in like from is this would this have happened either way? Because if it would have, then I would have never... Oh, that's HE. Whatever. It's such a big round. It'll probably blast that tiny tank either way. We're going to have to move the tiger to, like, cover from over here then. We can't even cover from where it's currently sitting. Okay, that one's down. Okay, we do have some... Is that an MG42? <gasps> can we listen to it? Oh, my God. That's giving me some memories right there. Okay, well, we're going to have to... Oh, man. This is going to not be... This is going to be incredibly brutal. Okay, my tiger is slight. Oh, you know what? That's, yeah, we're never going to hold that. It might be worth getting a mortar. But that mortar is going to be empty almost instantly. My, my frames are having an absolute fit right now. But it's kind of understandable considering how many guys are just encroaching, I'm assuming, here on this position. We're getting tracked by something. It's a 76 millimeter gun. I thought that was... Oh my, what? Turn the gun, turn the gun, turn the gun, and get rid of that. Okay, that was a... I knew that wasn't aimed at it, but I figured it would maybe cause someone to splash damage. But let's get rid of that thing. Oh, we just missed again? Okay, we'll try again. I'm surprised they brought this up like that, but okay, there we go. Focus on the BT-7A. The tank crew, our tank ditch is still being built. Maybe like a 105, honestly, I think, just to try to have some sort of standoff artillery. Maybe kind of further back, though, so it isn't going to hit uh, the trees or get one-shot by something. The Panzer can go in there. I wonder if it's worth... Oh, the Tiger currently is tracked. It can't move in there either way at the moment. What do we have over here? Get some barbed wire on the bridge just to at least stop them from hopefully rushing into it. Well, we've lasted longer than I thought. That's uh, definitely something I, I wasn't really too sure on defending the bridge part on the very front. I really wanted to try to do it forever. Like do a last stand mode where you defend like really far forward. But 
I felt this one was perfect for it, but I just wasn't ready for the absolute onslaught that they were going to bring against me. And I feel like now my, my frames are really tanking on this, uh, this part of the map. I don't think it's really enjoying the insane amount of units that is all like clumped up in one little area here. And at least we're not gone. I honestly was kind of thinking that that could have been a bad loss, but we might as well try to just get some barbed wire set up, defend this back part. And I guess this is kind of what most bridges games turn into in World Orchestra 2. Either you would heavily keep the enemy here as the defending team. You would either keep them here at the bridge. The middle town area always fell really quickly. I always felt like it was just not easy to defend and very easy to outflank and push aside. And then this would sometimes be won by the defenders if it ended up all the way back here. But the majority of the times the, oh, that's an extra machine gun ammo. The majority of the time, the if the enemies manage to get to here, then the defenders would basically have no chance in the world to actually really come back for uh, and hold this long enough. Now, I don't know if we're going to hold for 50 minutes. But our issue right now is we're obviously fighting downhill. It does look really good. Don't get me wrong. This is uh, very recognizable to me to be RO2. Like if I'm over here, I guess it's kind of hard to get like a soldier's perspective. But this is what it would look like. You know, everyone would be camping these. And actually not this one. But everyone would be camping in every one of these windows. So the snipers on this attacking team would always just look at the window. So the second you went up there, you knew you were going to get shot. Although it might be interesting to try and put a, a guy up there if I can. I'm going to buy a machine gunner and see how long a machine gunner, if he can go up there, how long he would even last in the first place. That's fantastic. Oh, okay, he actually has a great view. Might be worth buying a sniper here. Normally, I'm not a big sniper guy. Snipers are such an insane waste of points. 150. Whereas that gets me almost the third squad. I think realistically this would be doable if I gave myself another bit of extra setup time. But I already gave myself 15 minutes, which is one of the longer times I've ever given myself for like setting up a defense. And it felt like already kind of cheeky because there was so much time. I like last stand because you can just jump in and within a couple minutes you have a session. That might be worth uh, let me know, guess what you think about that in the comments. Like, I'll do a, a pretty long setup. Maybe I'll give myself, like, 25, 30 minutes and just try to really aggressively hold this line. Though, I think the issue is going to be, I don't know where these light vehicles came from. If they came from anywhere on the side and your your flank can just get, like, well, your defense can get outflanked. Yeah, looks kind of cool. I can be up here and I can snipe some uh, some Soviets. Although they're mostly getting annihilated, it would seem. There we go. I wasn't sure if he was going to move when he got up, so I didn't want to fire and waste my aim. Oh, that's a... Oh, he's just got killed. It was an anti-tank rifleman. Is it a... Oh, this is the... Is that a... No, that's that's already a... Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a... Wow, they're sending... What is that? A little T-40? That's not going to do anything. We're going to watch this get blown up by the tiger here in any second, I would assume, right? Now. Oh, he missed. Oh, and, oh, that was not. That was not on him. I mean, it's good. I guess the, sh the round must have deviated slightly, but I was, like, fully zoomed in, so I'm surprised that even happened like that. Anyone even alive down there? Because, I mean, I missed him. This does actually feel like Red Orchestra 2. I mean, obviously, outside of the massive tank blobs and there goes the little t40 outside a little tent you know outside of the tanks being blown up this really does look like ro2 sniping across the river on bridges of drazinia anti-tank rifle oh he just got blown up by a 20 mil machine gunner here start taking out the guys who are clearly clearly annoying our defenders it's a machine gunner with a dp machine oh we just missed him wish this guy had a g40 uh three or g41 sniper see him right behind that ba11 oh he just got blown up oh there's a aa oh now they're actually coming in with some heavier equipment a lot of oh man he's down let's actually focus here i think on the artillery i believe he did knock out that one we do have a t34 i wonder if my tiger can see him maybe he's just behind oh no he's shooting at us although i don't know if we can see him Reload my machine guns. Reload AP. He might just be... If that... 
Now his outline is just behind that area right there. It's possible that some of the units are getting stuck sort of in the middle of the map. I believe that Creator obviously did not intend for this to be a last stand map. I saw this in the workshop. I was like, man, this map looks fantastic. But I was like, hey, uh, you know, awesome mod developer. Do you mind adding a last stand option? Because, well, I think it's really cool. And within a day, oh, and within a day, he replied saying it now works for last stand. So super awesome. Oh, that was just a track hit. That should be enough if we can get right into his lower plate right there. Should absolutely blow this guy up. If you could see my face right now, it'd be severe. What is that? My day's been ruined and my disappointment is immeasurable. Really? I think I, I might have been low. We'll aim for the driver's hatch. I mean, we don't have to aim for the lower plate. Are you serious? Is this Stalin's own T-34? Just like the boss? Is Stalin targeting for the turret ring, maybe? There we go. Okay, I was about to say, like, I mean, lower plate, uh, the, you know, the, the driver hatch, and then... If it, that didn't work, I would have really freaked out. There we go. Yeah, I feel like there's definitely a couple of things from the try on this map. And um, I think the developer said he's actually looking to get even more of these types of RO2 maps, which I think it could be really, really cool. There. Okay, I am I give up. I don't know how I'm not able to... This is like legit the most strongest... Look, look at the... Sh I mean, I know that's a terrible angle, but this is a perfect... Sh okay, there we go. I think it finally went down. This is a perfect angle on, like what was that, at least one if not two hits? Oh, you can kind of not see it anymore now. I swear there's were two hits on the turret ring. Maybe they're stuck somewhere? I want to, that's why I'm going to take a look at this back here. I'm just very curious. Oh, there is actually a lot, oh, there's a lot more, oh, there's a KV-1 that's stuck here, okay. There's a bunch of guns that are over here. Okay, we know that now. I mean, the map is a little... Oh, there's still a... What is that? Oh, there's another gun. Okay, so they are just back here. Okay, so we are just going to get destroyed. We are not going to survive. We'll just throw a couple of grenades and hope another one. Oh, I didn't even get the other one off. This one might have been good, though. Yeah, we got nobody with that one. Okay, so we are at least confirming that they're all... with T-35. Okay, so they are still sending in units. They are still very here. They are definitely not like completely done for it just that the town maybe might cause some pathing issues nice we at least got that zis knocked down yeah so there's a t35 a t35 but it looks like some of them are just ending up getting stuck on parts of the map which is unfortunate oh right here's the kv is there anything like oh is it i don't think the panzer four is gonna have an easy time with that oh <gasps> not if the 10.5 does that he just sniped the he sniped one of the crew members out of it that was huge i think it like low side below the turret right there with apcr oh we knocked the turret off that's really all we wanted to do it makes that thing completely irrelevant until they jump out and try to repair it and then i have units that i can at least hopefully uh fend off that area my tiger is still up, which is, oh, now it's going to be, yeah, there's no, like I said, that's no turret, so it's just, it's kind of a joke now. It's just uh, completely, yeah, it has a hull machine gun, sure. Another guy down on the, okay, well, that was actually insane. We have been sniping the crew between the Panzer IV, the eyes from the recon, and the 10-5. Uh, the it's got, like, one dude probably still left in there somewhere. Look at how broken the tur uh, the barrel is in there. There we go. All right. Now I wonder if it's worth repairing that. Probably not. I'll get my machine gun recon guy to come back. Our tiger is completely... Actually, it's completely out of ammo. It has 130 rounds in one machine gun and 124 in the other, and that's it. I think the tiger is uh, is going to get out of here. The crew is, uh, is retreating. All right, they are finally overrunning the uh, the main line. I think we're gonna have to pull this Panzer off. We're gonna have to get the infantry that we have all off to the ammo crate machine gun. I don't know, we actually need one of these crew members to get off, but might not even be in time. They are going to be capturing. I think we can try to get some guys back in this position. Panzer IV, if I can get it on the cap, it may just undo some of the capture weight. Actually, the officer could maybe do some heavy capture weighting. Uh, the officer is, besides obviously gives you a pop cap, um, 
he gives you a huge amount of capture weight. Uh, capture weight just refers to the fact that how much a unit or or soldier influences the uh, the capture progress or process. So right now our um, engineer died. So we're now down to just a couple of guys here. This gun's still up. I don't even know how. Put them in this building. Our machine gun should be good. So we can try to rotate it more towards covering the bridge. This is more like uh, Bridges of Drazinia right now. We have a Panzer IV, a little bit of infantry covering this line. There's guys crawling across the frozen river. I wonder if you could destroy the frozen river part completely, or if you can't, because that would actually be a very good way of stopping them from like running across. Oh, that was unfortunate. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a guy right here, no, dude, what are you doing? Oh, he's too low to get him. That was really sad and unfortunate. He just got one tap by a guard's rifleman. He had the MG42. You could hear the first sort of second of the burst of the MG42 from RO2. A win. I feel like it was maybe a little cheaty. We did get a whole lot of kills. That's crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely want to revisit this at some point in the future. I think it's uh, I think it's definitely worth giving another shot. Maybe uh, figure out what kind of caused some of the frame lag. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one.